Thanks for watching this video. Today I want to show you what you can get in Japanese convenience stores with relatively high products. There are so many variety of different foods. As you may know, there are so many different types of convenience stores like Lawson, 7-Eleven, Family Mart. But my personal favorite is 7-Eleven. So let me show you some foods you should definitely try when you come to Japan. Let's go. Just on the left side when you enter, you can see some racks with magazine and daily goods like toothbrush, shaving razors, and even cosmetic products. And look at some stocks and underwears. If you go even further inside, there's an ATM and even a machine where you can get pre-ordered tickets for concert and shows. There are also usually toilets in many of the stores. Next are the shelves with drinks. There are usually around 50 different types of drinks here from soft drinks to alcohol even some hot drinks during the winter. We all love snacks, don't we? Chips and chocolates, Japanese unique snacks, and there are everything. Here are frozen foods which you can microwave it in the shops and even at home or hotel. Bento boxes, onigiri, sandwiches, ramen, breads, desserts. Literally, there are too many things to choose. Next to the cashier, you can get some hot snacks like chicken, dumplings, and oden. These products are usually written only in Japanese, but just point on what you want and ask the staff. I also recommend getting some coffee. With just 100 yen, you can get a pretty genuine coffee. Just get the cups at the cash counter and serve it yourself, like this. These are some of the stuff I just got now. Let me open one. This is yakitori. It's quite popular Japanese food in Japan. It's basically a squared chicken. It's a barbecue grilled and it has a soy sauce tasting. So let me try one. It's really still hot and warm. It's really nice. It's really, really has this barbecue taste. This is called Strong Zero. Um, it's, uh, it's kind of strong true high. And it's a Japanese um, liquor, but has this uh, lemon sour taste. Um, it's pretty strong. You should be careful. The next is Chinese uh, pork dumplings. It tastes as it looks. Really juicy pork inside. It's really warm. It's really good for this kind of like cold weather. Ah, it's so warm. <laughs> this is pizza dumplings. You have like this cheese and tomato sauce inside. Everybody should love this. Buono! Um, this is oden. Um, how do you explain this? This is basically a stew uh, with a fish soup, basically. With um, and you boil a lot of like different types of ingredients, like um, cabbage, vegetables, um, beef, even eggs, like this. And I want to try this rolled cabbage today. It's basically some meat um, rolled with the cabbage. Actually, chicken inside. There are three types of ramen you can buy in convenience stores. The ones that you make with simply pouring the hot water, with microwavable ones, and the frozen ramen using both hot water and a microwave. So now I want to show you my personally the best uh, ramen you can get in convenience store. The first one is this. 
This is a, it's actually a microwavable one where you don't need to pour any water in and it's from Sumire. It's a famous uh, ramen shop. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. It's really tasty. I think this uh, the soup is miso based. It's really nice. The next I want to show you is uh, frozen ramen. It's called tomita, and you basically need to need to wipe, microwave this and also pour hot water in to make the hot soup. This is called tsukeme. Basically, uh, put the noodles into the hot soup to eat it. So this is not like a normal ramen. Look at these noodles. It's really thick. It's like udon. Itadakimasu. This type of soup is a little bit special. It has a bit of like powdery, fishy kind of taste. But it's really good. The last one is the famous Ikudo ramen. You probably all know that this is most, one of the most uh, famous ramen chain shops in Japan. And this is very simple. You just pour the hot water in and wait for three minutes. I think it has a really thick pork, porky kind of soup with a little bit of um, soy sauce, but that's a little bit burnt. Yeah, this combo is so nice. Now, I'd like to show you what most uh, foreign visitors would not choose when they go to a convenience store. And what is this? It's called ginna, and it's a ginkgo nut. It's a, it's a little bit salty, fried, and it has a distinct bitterness. Now I'll go with the ginna. It's really crispy and salty. You guys have to try this. Another one is kai himo. And this looks like a dried squid, but it's actually a it's it's a scallop. But basically that side, you know, the stringy, muscleish type that's uh, surrounded uh, around scallops. And basically these two goes really well with beer. And now I'd like to eat it. It's a little bit hard, it's a little bit dry, but the taste is very, very thick. Now here's a special type of onigiri, it's called katsudon. And katsudon is basically a fried pork with eggs on top of rice. And this is an onigiri version, which is kind of cute, and I want to try this. I prefer real katsudon. Now I want to show you my super favorite food of mine. This is edamame and fake crab meat. Why I like these two is because they're so healthy and I probably get this at least once a week. This edamame is only about 90 kilocalories and this one is 69 kilocalories. So this, these are very healthy when you're really tired and don't feel like eating heavy foods at home and it goes perfectly with beer as well. Now, if you want to have a luxurious time eating 7-Eleven foods, I recommend this one of the golden series in 7-Eleven. It's called Golden Hamburg. You can't believe this is just like three, 400 yen. It's so nice. Thanks for watching this video until the end. I hope you can try some of these foods I show you today when you visit Japan and hopefully I can show you more in the upcoming videos. If you want to learn more about today's products, check out the video description below, and feel free to throw us any comments or questions. And if you liked the video, please click the like button and subscribe to the channel. Bye bye!